what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to continue our discussion about the creation of our bookcase family okay so based on our last discussion we have learned how to set up the reference planes or the bones or the skeleton of our family and then after that we also learned how to place the parameters and then after that, we have learned how to create these family types. Okay, so this time around, so let us try to add some flesh to our body. Okay, or we're going to add some 3D model to our family. Okay, to our skeleton. So we are going to add here some uh, 3D model. Okay, so let's do this. So the, the model that we'll be adding here is uh, the panels. Okay, so we are going to create uh, panels for our uh, bookcase, the bookcase panels. So let's do this. So on our reference level, so we are going to use here an extrusion. Okay, so let's use an extrusion here. So let's click this. In creating extrusion, so you need to sketch first your extrusion. Okay, so it should be close, no intersection, and then no overlapping. Okay, so that's the rule of creating your sketch for the extrusion. So, since our book panels are rectangles, so I'll be using this rectangle here. So, I'll be selecting that and then I'll just create two rectangles here. Don't worry about the exact uh, size of our rectangle. So, just pick two points to create the rectangle and then after that, modify. Okay. And then the next thing that we're going to do is remember the reference planes that we have created last time. We are going to host there our panels. So I'm going to use the align tool here, this one. So align. And then you need to select first the element that you want your 3D model to align to. So let's say I want my reference plane to be my reference and then I want to align this top portion of my panel. So let's click that and then don't forget to lock it. By locking that, in case we move this reference plane down, so this side will also move down. If we move this up, this side here will gonna be moving up as well, okay? And let's do this here as well. So let's click this and then let's align that. Let's click. Let's move, align this side here and then lock. Okay, so basically we are putting the flesh of our body to our skeleton so that when our skeleton moves, our flesh will get to be moving as well. It will follow the bones. Okay, so let's do, the, uh, do that here as well. So let's use align, align the top lock align the side here and then lock click this side and then lock and then that's it okay now the next thing that we're going to do is um we are going to specify the thickness of our uh, panel here so for us to be able to do that just like what we did last time we're going to create a parameter so i'm going to use here a line dimension and then I'm going to pick this reference plane here. And then I'm going to pick this side. And then I'm going to pick here. So same with this side here. So click that side. And then pick here. There you go. And then select modify. Now to create the parameter for our panel thickness. So I'm going to select the dimension. And then from our label, as you can see, we don't have a panel thickness here. Remember, all you have to do is to click create parameter, right? And then you put the name here. So let's say that we're going to be our panel thickness. And then again, type properties, put it on the dimensions group, and then select OK. Right. All right. And then same with here. So let's click that. Since we already created the panel thickness, all we have to do is to click the drop down and then look for the panel thickness and then click. There you go. And then I'll select here modify. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to select here OK to finish up that. So let's click here, check. That's it. 
And then let's go to the 3D or to the uh, elevation. Okay, so let's go to the elevation view, front elevation. And then I'm going to select this uh, panel here. You see this um, shape handle. So you can drag that and then align that to the height like that and then again don't forget to lock it so that when we change the height our 3d model will change as well so let's click that and then to specify the exact uh, dimension or thickness of our panel so let's go to our family types let's go there and then on our first type let's change the panel thickness here to let's say three-fourth of an inch enter apply there you go. So it's now change. So let's select the other type, the 36, 12, 36. So 3 fourth of an inch, enter, then apply. There you go. Change again. It's working. And then let's select the second type. Let's change the panel thickness at 3 fourth of an inch, apply, and then OK. So let's check this out in the 3D view. So let's select the 3D view and let me just turn on the thin lines there and then turn the shaded view. There you go. And then let's try to play this out. So let's click the family types. Let's select here 36 and then apply. As you can see, it's working. Apply. It's working. Okay. You always do that. Okay. So that at least you know that your uh, parameters are working properly. You always flex it if it is working uh, properly. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, let's go back again to the reference level here. Let's create the back panel here. Okay? So let's do that. So let's go to create, extrusion. And then after that, again, it's just a rectangle. So I'm going to select rectangle. Just create a rectangle there. Again, just like what we have learned. So we are going to align this line here to this reference plane. You can actually click that and then drag to align to that reference plane. And then just don't forget to lock it. Okay, so aside from using the align. So you can click align as well. Click that. Click. And then don't forget to lock. Or just drag. Click. And then drag to that side. Make sure it's aligned and then lock it so that again, if we change this side here, we change the length, the back panel will also change. Okay, now um, let's try to, what else? So we are already aligned there, a lock, this is lock, this is lock. Okay, now the next one is the thickness. Okay, so the thickness of our panel. So same procedure, so I'm going to select here align dimension. And then let's click the back reference plane and then the front line there. And then place it there. Modify. And then let's click now the dimension. Let's apply the panel thickness of 34 or 3 fourth of an inch. And then select here check to finish. And then let's align that on our front elevation. Front. Okay, let's click that. Let's align. There you go. And then lock. And there you have it. So let's check this out in the 3D view. Okay, so let's flex again if it is working fine. So let's go to the family types. Let's change this to the 60, 1860 type and then apply. There you go. It's working just fine. 36, 12, 36, apply. And there you go. Okay. And there you have it. So we just created now the panels of our uh, bookcase. Okay, so that is for this uh, video. On our next video, we are going to create the bookcase base plate. Okay, so again, hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.